What's up y'all, I'm Reed the Fishmonger and today we're gonna fillet up a gorgeous queen snapper. My friend just caught this yesterday. Super excited to get it cleaned up for y'all. Queen snapper have these tough giant scales. So when we're gonna make our initial cut, pick up the fin, slide right underneath those scales, super easy. Tip of the knife, separate that collar. And man, it's just, it's so easy cutting through those scales when you're not, well, cutting through them. You're cutting around them. Tip the knife right at that opening and slide all the way down. Look at all those scales coming off. And I don't know if the camera can catch it, but check out those scales. Those serrated edges, those things will get you. When I'm filleting fish, I slide my thumb underneath as I'm going. And one time I wasn't wearing a glove and I was sliding my hand underneath a queen snapper and those serrated edges just tore up the inside of my thumb. All right, we're gonna rest our knife right on the skeleton of the fish and slide up towards the head. Letting the skeleton guide our knife so that way we don't lose any of the meat. Now that we're at the center, we'll go to the top of that spine Tip of the knife, face of the ribs, angle it slightly up, separate the connection the pin bones make to the ribs. Now we can dip our knife right on the other side of that tall spine and slide down. Rest your knife right on top of those ribs and slide down those ribs. Look at that, gorgeous. Did leave a couple of rib bones on there, easy to take out, slide underneath them. Give it a little flick right at the end so that way you don't cut down to the skin on that belly, keeping it all intact. Flip her over. Behind the head at an angle. Knife right at that opening. Slide all the way down. Separate the connection the pin bones make to the ribs. Hit the other side of the spine. Cut those rib bones out real quick. That's not a rib bone, that's just membrane. Beautiful. Now, I've personally never cut out a queen snapper cheek. I don't know if it's gonna look good, if it's gonna be, well, I can feel that it's gonna be small and misshapen, but let's see. Well, there you have it, folks. On an 18 pound queen snapper, that's the size cheek you get. And I don't know if you can hear this, but that's, that's all bone right there. No meat left behind. That's just all you get out of it. So when you're cutting out the cheeks, you can feel where the meat is. It's a little bit more squishy and where the bone is, solid. You wanna find the line where those meet and outline them. Super easy cutting out the cheeks. Tip of the knife, scoop in. That scooping motion makes sure you don't lose any of that meat. And now we're gonna just peel it right off. And there's your clean snapper cheek. On grouper, you can take the collar meat out and have it boneless, skinless, and have a good portion. On even an 18 pound queen snapper, if you do boneless, skinless meat, you're really not gonna have much. So we're gonna remove the collars, or the wings, throats, whatever you wanna call them. I call them delicious, leaving them bone in. You can see this bone right here, how it moves independently. 
We're gonna slide our knife right underneath that bone. Puncture the membrane, go all the way underneath the throat, flip her around. We're gonna do the same thing over here. You can see this bone right here, how it moves independently. You can see how there's a little notch right there. And then if I lift, that notch goes away. So when I'm holding it down, it's protruding a little bit, makes itself more visible, easier to get underneath it. Now we're gonna puncture that membrane, go underneath, take our scissors, snip right there. Now these guys will come right out. Theoretically come right out, there we go. Now we got a bit of trimming to do, not that much, but you just wanna take off some of this excess membrane. That blood will come right off. We'll rinse that off in a salt water and ice bath. It'll take the blood right off. And there you go. We got queen snapper wings. These things are absolutely delicious. They're gonna have a little bit more of a fish flavor than the filet is, but if you like fish, it's to die for. All right, y'all, that's how we break down a queen snapper. We got our filets, cheeks, wings, and nothing left. Comment below, let me know how you would cook this fish. It's light, mild, flaky. It's got a little bit of a sweet flavor from the cold water fats from coming out of 800 feet of water. It's gonna be a little bit firmer than a yellowtail snapper, kind of like a red snapper, but it's gonna be a little bit fluffier than a red snapper also with larger, more moist flakes than a red snapper. Does that make me hungry? It's making me hungry. Anyways, you guys, have a killer day. Thanks for watching. That looks so good. Hey everybody, I've been meeting up with some of my favorite chefs in the local area and I can't wait for you guys to check it out. We've been having a blast putting it together. Fish collars, cheeks, hyaloid medallions, whole fish filleted, everything you could think of, they're doing. New episodes are getting released every Friday. You guys don't want to miss it. Please check it out. Hope you all have a killer day. This is ridiculous.